Another senior trustee. This is Sashi Bai and Major. Wow. And these two gentlemen. Well, I'll just say hello to the people. We've got Dr. Bai's group, but they're the head of our youth. We've got very active youth. Very active youth. Very active youth. You'll, you'll, you'll see when I get up and say a few words. Very active youth. 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 Great. Great to see you. Hi. Great to see you. Great to see you. Very good to see you. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good. Okay. Okay. Your invitation to be with you at the temple today. Uh, hearing about the history of the temple, it's an extraordinary history. I think I can honestly say you are probably the best thing about the opening of the Millennium Dome, your, uh, uh, your, your, uh, your band. Um, and uh, it was fantastic to hear them play today. And I want to pay tribute to you for the incredible work you do uh, with young people, with the homeless, uh, with the charitable sector, uh, and in the community. And I want to take this opportunity also uh, to uh, thank my Labour parliamentary colleagues who we have with us uh, today because I know that you know that they work uh, incredibly closely with the community. But I most of all want to take the opportunity today to say something about the Hindu community and to recognise the incredible work the Hindu community does for our country. Uh, across every walk of life, uh, across business, across the charitable sector, uh, across politics. Now I know there is a huge challenge of making sure that we have equal representation in our country, that we look like the country we seek to serve. And for me in the Labour Party, this is a battle that is not yet won. Because until we look like the country we seek to serve, not simply a number of representatives, but a truly representative set of representatives, then I know my work won't be completed. But I want to take this opportunity today to thank you, because whether it is in business, and the profits you create, the wealth you generate, the jobs you provide, or in the charitable sector, uh, as we've heard, or indeed in politics, the Hindu community plays a great role in our country, and I thank you for it. I also want to say something about your values, which in a way we can uh, mark today. Because these are incredibly important values. Values of family, values of faith, and values of community. And just hearing about the work that is done here it shows the strength of the Hindu community. The strength of the Hindu community, not just here, but all around our country. A strength that is, of course, a religious strength, but is also a strength for people living in the community. And that is an incredibly important contribution that you make uh, to our country. I've also been lucky enough to attend several Navratri and Diwali celebrations. Uh, and I've always found myself incredibly admiring of the spirit that is on uh, show. Let me say something though also about young people, because many of you here uh, will be thinking, if you're not uh, young yourself, will be thinking about your sons and daughters and the potential for them in our country. I have this idea of one nation. The one nation idea is that we use the talents of every person in our country. And really, I think that is the big challenge for us in the years ahead. When all of us think about our kids, we want them to have better opportunities than us. The One Nation idea is that we give opportunity to our children, and that means to all of our children, every single one of them, because that is the way that each of them succeeds, and it's the way that the country uh, succeeds as well. And I know we've got further to go to break down the barriers that there are to advancement in every community in our country. And I will take this incredibly seriously 
if I am Prime Minister. Because we will be looking at every barrier that exists in employment and education and in every walk of life to say, how do we break down those barriers? Not so we only have equality in law, but how we have real equality. Because the reason I joined the Labour Party is because of my belief in equality. And that drives me on. And that will drive me on to make sure that as a country, we live up uh, to that meaning uh, and those ideals. Let me say one or two other things. I, I want to say to you that if I'm Prime Minister, we will always be an outward-looking country. Uh, and that means, of course, working with our allies, like Prime Minister Modi's India and other allies. Because I think Britain is stronger when we're a confident country on the world stage, not a country looking inwards. Uh, and that is the way we will succeed as a country uh, in the future. And let me just say this uh, finally. You have noticed, of course, there is an election on, and uh, it is a matter for all of you uh, how you vote. I guess you know uh, what I would like you uh, to do. This is not uh, a political uh, occasion. But, but let me say this. I, I think whatever happens in this election, I think the task is very clear. It's to build a country where people of every faith, every creed, every background, every class feel this country works for them. I think that is the big challenge that our country faces. That is what will make our country strong. Always outward looking, always proud of our diversity, always proud of our tolerance, always proud of the incredible country uh, that we are. And that will be my task if I'm the Prime Minister. And I can promise you this, that I will value my relationship with this temple, and I will always remember this occasion, and I will value my relationship with the Hindu community throughout Britain. Thank you very much.